Okay, so tonight we are going to be trying a black naga. This is actually the first chili that I ever tasted uh, after, other than a habanero, um, like super hot, potentially super hot. Um, and it was uh, really nice, um, similar to a chocolate ujilokia, but not quite as flavorful as a chocolate. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying this again. Who knows if it's exactly the same strain or something different. But uh, you can see here's a, an old chocolate Luchalokia. Um They look very similar. Um, kind of hard to tell them apart. Um, they have a lot of similar characteristics. The main thing, this one does feel a little bit thicker. The black naga feels a little bit thicker skin, not a lot. Luchalokia has its real super thin skin that uh, they're famous for. So. Let's uh, cut this open. This is compliments of uh, Aji Joe. Um, if, uh, if you want to try this, look him up on the hot pepper, and he sells seeds for these and hundreds of other peppers. Um, okay, so let's give this a slice open and see how it is. Ooh, looks very nice inside. Kind of ooh, definitely got a nice strong. Um, does have a bujalokia chocolate bujalokia smell. Very uh, see that. Very uh, oily. Uh, lots of placenta in there. Uh, let's see if we can get it to focus. Uh, this camera is not the greatest when it comes to focusing. Um, but. Let's see. Let's do this. Do, 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 there we go. You can see that in there. And there's another piece. That's a placenta on there. So, okay. Let me clean out some of these uh, seeds here. Um, I get a lot of people complaining that I don't eat the seeds. Um, there's plenty of videos where people eat the whole pod and eat the seeds. So, you know, this is more about the flavor again. So, uh, okay. So, this is the piece I'm going to eat. Thanks, Aji Joe. And uh, let's give this a taste here. Okay. Nice sting right when it hits your tongue. Mm. It actually has a first taste is not like a chocolate bucharoki. It's actually more more green, um, almost like a green apple. It has a green flavor to it. Second bite, just a hint of the chocolate flavor, chocolate bucharoki here. Um, it's nice it's sound. Uh, it's more fresh. The, the chocolate boot has a distinctive, um, just like an earthy, earthy, nutty flavor. And this one is more fresh and, and uh, this might actually be fresh and sweeter, a little bit sweeter. Um, it's nice. Very nice. I'm impressed. Um, yeah, definitely distinctly different from a, from a chocolate butcherokia. Which is that placenta wall there that I'm eating. Um, well, this is bound to be hot. Very nice flavor. Very almost um, vegetable y. Um, but it's nice and balanced and neutral. Um, this would be great chopped up to uh, add to a salsa or something. Uh, or put on, it doesn't have a real strong flavor profile, and the flavor it does have is nice. I'm getting closer to the, to the top here, where typically sometimes the flavor kind of goes, mm -hmm. but staying pretty, uh, pretty flat. 
Not a big swing in the flavor, it still tastes nice. This is nice. Um, definitely a lot softer now that I remember thinking back to the first Black Naga. Very subtle flavor, um, natural, um, really neat. Um, yeah, not quite as not quite as flowery, uh, earthy as the uh, as the brown or as the chocolate from Tokyo. Okay, got some heat in there. I like it. Very tasty. I know the chocolate roots have a good flavor, but I remember as I would get closer to the top, get a little bit harder to eat. This was easy to eat the whole way. Uh, just a, it's a little sweeter, um, a little more fresh, a little more um, neutral. Skin still very thin, but it feels a little bit thicker, uh, a little more fleshy. Not much, but you can tell the difference between that and like a, a, a chocolate butcherokia. Um, tons of placenta in this thing. Right now, um, getting a real good overall mouth burn. Lots of drool. Um, a little warmth in the chest. It's been a while since I ate. Doing it early tonight at 11 o'clock. Hopefully, uh, pasta dinner was, uh, was big enough to keep any pain away. Very nice burn. My tongue, nothing uh, uncontrollable or painful. Um, to me, this is like a perfect burn. A little bit on the back of the throat now. But, uh, you know, the sevens, the, the scorpions, they're just so hot. Um, this just has a nice overall, gets your sweat, gets you sweating, gets your blood pumping, but it um, doesn't bring you to your knees. That's a drool. Good overall tongue burn, nothing in the throat. Just a little at the very, very top of the throat, like the tips of the tonsils, maybe. Wow. Very nice. Great flavor. Um, very impressed. Or, um, I think I prefer this over chocolate butcherokia. Or I do prefer this over chocolate butcherokia. I'm going to try and try another chocolate boot before the end of the year. But uh, from what I recall from the chocolate butcherokia, this I like it a little better. Um, just a lot more balanced flavor, easier to eat. Not quite as hot as a chocolate boot. At least the one, the chocolate boot that I grew myself, that was like just below a seven heat. Um, the other chocolate boot that I had from uh, Pepper Lover, um, that was hot. Um, and this is probably just a hair below that chocolate boot, but I like this flavor better. Um, so seed count is probably medium. That's medium to medium high. That's quite a bit of seeds, um, but very impressed. Um, beautiful pod, great color. Two thumbs up. Thanks, Aji Joe. Um, again, if you like, if you're interested in growing something like this, uh, contact Aji Joe. He has hundreds of different seeds. Thanks again, and uh, plenty more to come. Bye.